Hi everyone, my name is Natalie Rogers and I am the Community Education Manager for Houston Center for Photography. Today, I wanted to show you how you can create a paper doll at home using found photographs you may have laying around your house. I enjoyed playing with paper dolls as a kid and paper dolls have long been an inexpensive toy that can easily be created at home and serve as a way to experiment with clothing and fashion. This activity was inspired by our current exhibition, Tools of Revolution, Fashion Photography and Activism, which features the works of four African-American photographers, including Ariel Bob Willis, Kwame Brathwaite, Micaiah Carter, and Dana Scruggs, who have used photography as a tool to empower black identity through fashion and images of fashion. If you have not watched the video yet, I encourage you to watch the virtual tour of this exhibition, which you can find on our website and social media. The materials that you will need for this activity include a paper and pencil, a thin and small piece of cardboard, a glue stick or tape, some scissors, and some old magazines that you don't mind cutting up that have lots of photographs within them, and a photograph of yourself showing your full body. The first step is to cut out the photograph of yourself that shows your whole body from head to toe and to carefully cut closely along the edge of your body. The second step is to glue the cutout photograph of yourself to a thin piece of cardboard and to cut out the shape again. Make sure to cut carefully around your arms and legs. The third step is to trace the outline of your cutout photograph onto a separate piece of paper to create a template for clothes. The next step is to look through old magazines to find photographs of shapes, colors, and textures that you like that will serve as clothes for your paper doll. Then, use your template or cardboard cutout to help you determine the final shape and size. The next step is to place the magazine cutout over the template as you would like the clothes to be worn on the doll. Create a tracing of the cutout, making sure to draw some rectangular tabs along the edges. Once the magazine cutout is glued down and these tabs are cut out, they can then be folded back to hold the clothes onto the doll.
For the last step, you can add adornments by directly collaging onto the clothing and create accessories and additional clothing items by repeating the process of cutting out found photos, gluing them down onto paper, and drawing tabs and cutting those out to create clothing items that can be folded onto the doll. Here is my final paper doll. Now I'm ready to create other looks. I might create a top, some pants, a skirt, even some shoes. I hope you'll use this time to experiment and express yourself through fashion and photography. Don't forget to share your work with us. Houston Center for Photography exists for and because of our community. If you enjoyed this program, please consider making a gift to our annual fund at www.hcponline.org give. We are especially grateful for your vital support during this unprecedented time. Thank you.